Okay, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic, and let's go and figure out this super simple math problem right here and what we have is 30 plus 30 divided by 3. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, we have only addition, we have only division, so that's fantastic. However, many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, put your answer into the comment section, we have three options, option A, B and C, so choose one option, what do you think is correct, and put your option down into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one minute and then I'm going to kind of really emphasize an extremely important basic math concept that is going to be the reason why a lot of you are going to do this problem incorrectly. So there are two types of, of people, okay? So I want to start with this explanation. So as you can see right here our question, I just wanted to rewrite it. So we have 30 plus 30 divided by 3. There are two types of people. One part of people solve this question like that from left to right, okay? So right here we have 30 plus 30 equal to equal to 60 then divided by 3 yeah we have we still have this division so from left to right then don't care about they don't know about order of operation so we have 60 divided by 3 equal to equal to 20 so one part of students solve this question like that this is option a and okay they solve this they choose this option but in math we should know what is the correct correct order correct property correct rule because what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem right do we do division first then addition or addition first then division this is a really important moment because in mass we can't have like like two answers yeah we can we should solve this according to a correct order of operation correct property correct rule and we should have one and only one correct answer this is a really important step so for this question we should understand that we should know about order of operation okay and for example let's look at this pmdmc order of operation this is the most popular order of operation in the world so right, right now let's solve this question according to this order of operation okay so here's our our prediction maybe 20 is a correct answer but right now let's write this question once more and let's solve this according to this PMDMC so we have 30 plus 30 divided by 3 okay and let's look closely to this order of operation because right here we have parentheses then exponent then multiplication division and then addition and subtraction so parentheses have the higher priority yeah and the lowest priority addition and subtraction so it's like from the top to the bottom we should go through the steps right here real quick and then we will have we will have a correct answer let's do this so let's scan parentheses let's scan where do we have this parentheses for me personally i don't see any of those so let's let's skip this part we don't have any parentheses so we will skip this part we don't have it what about exponents? Let's look at it. Where do we have maybe squares, cubes? I don't see any of those, so we just we just skip this part. Okay, we just skip this part. Multiplication division group. Let's look at it. Multiplication sign, division sign. We have addition. It's not good. Yeah, we have division sign right here. So we should start from this division. As you can see, we don't have parentheses. We don't have multiplication. We have right here. We have division, division part. And if you look closely, okay, this is our division part right here. But if you look closely, addition and subtraction. Okay, let's look. Let's go a little bit further. So we have addition and subtraction. We have addition sign right here. Yeah, we have addition. Yeah and we don't have any subtraction sign. So if we look closely, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have multiplication, we don't have dv, we don't have subtraction. We have only division and addition. But if you look closely, uh, parentheses have the highest priority and the lowest priority, addition and subtraction. And right here, division is before addition all the time. So all the time, you should do all the thing with this multiplication division group and then addition and subtraction okay so multiplication division is all the time before addition and subtraction so you should start from this division at first okay so we have 30 yeah 30 plus and right here 30 divided by 3 equal to equal to 10 okay and right now the last step so right here we complete this division step right here and the last step is addition step okay 30 plus 10 you don't need your calculator you don't need order of operation because this is very simple addition so equal to equal to 40 but if you look closely okay we solve it according to pmdmc but what about the correct option right here we have 20 30 80 over 2 so sometimes students don't see the correct answer right here and they don't know we don't have this 40 then they go back to this 20 which they think is a correct answer so in their opinion 20 is a correct answer because they solve it from left to right they don't care about operation about parentheses exponent multiplication yeah so they go back to this 20 because they don't see this 40 and they go to the next question but if i look closely we have 20 30 and 80 over 2 but this 80 over 2 this is very tricky tricky value because 80 over 2 equal to 40 yeah this is where a simple division and right here we can easily write that our correct answer is 
is option C, okay? Our correct answer is option C because 80 over 20, 80 over 20, uh, 80 over 2 equal to equal to 40. So a correct answer is option C. But for those who think that a correct answer is 20, okay? Uh, correct answer will be 20 when you put brackets, okay? If when you put parentheses, this parentheses, this question will be great because you can easily start from this parentheses at first, okay? Because the first step is parentheses, then you you add it, you have 60 divided by 3 equal to equal to 20. In our case, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any 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 brackets right here. We have only regular expression where division is all the time before addition, which is really important moment because a lot of students make this mistake. A lot of students don't know how can we how can we solve it. But uh, one really interesting notes from me. Uh, now some of you out there like if you plug in if you type this into like a basic calculator on your laptop, for example, some of those calculators, you know, are just going to do the problem as you type it in. But if you use something like a little more sophisticated, like scientific calculator, certainly like graphing calculators, where you can just type type in the problem like this and then hit enter and you'll see the correct answer. The correct answer will be will be 40. And I want to explain you with your telephone, okay? If you plug in this question into into your regular calculator, for example, you can easily test with me, uh, test it with me right now. You, let's plug in this 30 plus 30 divided by 3. If you plug in 30 plus 30, okay, some, calcul some calculators uh, add it at first, okay? You write it and they think that you should add it, so we have 30 plus 30, it gives you 60, then divided by two you should find calculators where you can plug in the whole problem okay whole whole question okay you whole you uh, write this question whole uh, or completely all uh, you have 30 plus 30 divided by two and then you click this enter enter button and then you will have an answer 40 which is really important step because some of some students maybe sometimes worry it on the exam and they think that a correct answer is 20 because they they check it in your in our calculators they check it they plug in 30 plus 30 it gives you 20, then divided, it gives you 60, then divided by 3 gives you 20, which is really tricky moment. So the correct answer in our case, this is this is 40. So we hope you understand my explanation. I hope you'll learn something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Uh, and uh, okay, now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, right? If you're struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concept, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. So thank you for your time and have a great day. And if it's, this video is helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps me to improve my videos and to get more videos every day. And this is really interesting and really inspires me a lot. So thank you for your time and have a great day. I hope you understand my explanation and I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures.